All right, engine failure. Here we go. Throttle's idle. And cut off. Engine's going to spool down in a second. Now, Arges have included, very kindly, a bunch of checklists and diagrams uh, for various situations, including emergencies, which is what we'll be using. It's in the kneeboard. So, first of all, flame out procedure. Electro pump switch is on. It's over here. It's on. Undercarriage down. We ignore that until uh, glide uh, safe landing is assured. High lift um, devices selector switch, which is hypers. It's coming off. Okay. Then we put the dampers off. Off. We start cancelling all these warnings. Uh, so your anti-slip switch is off and the pitch switch is off and uh, now we're looking for a 230 knots keep cancelling the warnings keep cancelling the warnings 230 knots and we're looking for our circuit so we start our circuit here at 10,000 feet and that is going to be the high key and then the low key at 7,000 on the other side of the runway and then we start our turn base legs at 4,000 so Basically, that is the idea. Do not take this as gospel. We're looking for 230 knots. We're currently 250. The runway is just underneath us there. So we're passing through 17,500 descending. Uh, we're using this altimeter, not this one because it's broken. So the standby, in other words. And uh, the runway is approximately at sea level. A little bit higher, but give or take, doesn't really matter in our situation. So we're just going to, this is all about energy management. So what we'll do is, we'll use the high key on this side of the runway, and then we'll come up to the other side, uh, the city side, shall we say, uh, for the low key, 7,000, and then circle around uh, into the west, from east to west. So west is over there behind us. That's where the wind is coming from. So we're looking for 10,000 feet, and how are we looking? Passing through 14,000. So if we just put a bit of a bank and a little bit of an AOA on the airplane as we make this turn in to start our circuit at 10,000, I think that will bleed enough energy for us to be at around about 10,000, maybe a little bit high. Uh, so passing through 12,000 now, 220 knots, 11,500, it's looking not too bad actually. Should be around about 10,000 as we pass over the runway over here. And uh, just using little trim adjustments with my force feedback sticks, amazing, because uh, as you can see, you know, just it just moves in my hand, so I know exactly what's going on. So we're a little bit fast now. What are we uh, passing through? 9,500. Good, we passed the runway. So we're looking at 7,000 on this side. Now, like I said before, ignore the whole gear thing at 230 knots because, well, one, this airplane is unbelievably draggy with gear. And two, because I think the gear limit speed is 215, so I don't know why it says 230. Somebody can comment down below in the comments, but I'm going to use 215 to extend the gear. Uh, just to conform to the maximum gear speed. Although maybe that's just to extend, and then after that you can accelerate and fly with it extended uh, faster, if possible. Just keep cancelling all these warnings, so we're getting our speed. Now, if you think we're looking high, we're not high. Um, this thing glides like an absolute brick as soon as you get the gear and the flaps and everything uh, and also so we're looking at about what, what was of 7000 um, at the low key which we've just passed so it's a uh, according to the diagram we're a little high but we have a tank strapped to the belly of the airplane so it makes it more draggy we'll have quite a bit of a headwind out of the west there which is going to make it more difficult uh, so I think this is looking pretty good I think it is just about time we're just under 250 knots and I think it's uh, about time to start dropping the gear if you think we're too high we're not too high trust me especially as soon as you get the first stage of flaps and you don't need to uh, they do say if you need to you can use first stage or half flap rather uh, otherwise it's a flaps up landing and now we're just coming round. We're supposed to be at 4,000 feet on base. Uh, we've just rolled out at almost 3,000 feet. So that's not too bad. Um, now, just don't want to... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the air brakes out. And I think we're going to go for the first stage of flaps as well. Now, this thing glides like a brick. So as soon as you get the flaps out, it glides like a brick. So I'm going to get the air brakes in. We're looking for 210 knots over the numbers or rather over the lights and then 160 knots as we uh, flare out for the touchdown. So I think we're going to be close. We are just about 200 now. So this is the flare is the most important part. Just flaring out, flaring out, flare out, flare out, flare out, flare out, flare out. Boom. Hard touchdown, but 
we made it in one piece, which is good. And it was around about 160. Uh, so the drag chute did come out as well. Uh, so not the prettiest landing, but it was a safe landing in the right spot on the runway. So it's a good practice, just you know, for some energy management, just to get a feel for for uh, for the airplane. I uh, highly recommend it. It's good fun. This airplane is extremely fun to fly, especially with the latest update now. They fixed the uh, the kind of uh, rudder that was... Um, it was a bit difficult to steer on the runway, I think, but now it's pretty good. So that's it, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Um, if you have, just uh, tap the like button and hopefully subscribe for future videos. And I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.